Hey everybody, have you ever had a problem syncing the audio and video for your cameras in OBS? Well, some of our customers have here at PTZ Optics and there's a really simple fix and I want to show you a couple ways to make sure that the audio and video video feeds in OBS are synced. Now today we're also going to be talking specifically about NDI video sources and IP video sources. So let's jump into OBS so I can show you these simple fixes. Now here I have OBS, as you can see I have two scenes here and uh, these are NDI sources. So when I click this source, there's a, a one important drop down that I need to make sure that we're all thinking about. So the source name comes up, right? So I've got a lot of different sources on my network and uh, NDI automatically discovers all the sources, which is awesome. And I pick that. Another option we have here is the bandwidth. So we can have the highest, the lowest or audio only coming in to OBS. This is the first thing to check. Make sure that all of the cameras that you are connecting to have the exact same bandwidth settings. You don't want to have one at high and one at low. Additionally, you want to have the same syncing information here. So if we're using source timing, I will show you how to do that. And that's what we like. Um, you can have allow hardware acceleration. Just make sure that again, that you're doing the same thing for each camera here. Now, another thing that a lot of people miss because you do have to scroll down to see it is the latency mode. Now you can either do normal, which is the safe way to do. And that's what we're going to show in this video, which is very low latency, but there is an experimental option to go even lower than the you know, lowest setting. So think about uh, if you're going to use one of those, again, it's making sure that all of your sources use the exact same settings is the, the, the main takeaway. If you just do that, you probably will fix your problem. I've had customers who simply had had one set differently than the other, set them the same, clicked OK, and everything was fine. But I want to take a second here to look at, to go into a little bit more detail. So this is the IP address of my camera. So I've got 192.168.21.67 here. And what I want to do is I just want to pop that into a web browser. And I want to show you what, how network timing works in PTZ Optics cameras. Now the default password is admin, admin. We go to uh, network settings here and there's an area of the UI that's the network area. And if I zoom in here, I'll show you this in a little bit more detail. There's an NTP settings, which is the network time protocol settings. Make sure that is on for each of your cameras. Make sure it has the same time zone and choose the server address. By default, it is going to be time.windows.com. But if you're using a Mac, you could do time.apple.com or a custom NTP, meaning whatever your network is using, you can use that. Make sure that everything is set to the exact same. Each camera has the exact same. And if, if you need to make changes reboot, I am going to continue because these changes haven't been, been needed. But there you go, right? Now, if you're still having audio video sync issues, this is something that I want to stress here for a second. Okay, if your audio and video is not synced, you can add delay to your audio and that will generally sync the audio and video. But if your video sources are out of sync, that's where the audio delay is not going to help you. So that's why I wanted to start by just making sure all of your video cameras are in the exact same settings using the same NDI input drop down menu options in OBS because that's the first step. Step two, if, you're, if your audio is now out of sync, what you can do is you can go into your audio mixer inside of OBS. And so if we go take a closer look at this here, for our audio source, um, what we can do is we can do sync offset. And essentially what that means is audio delay. I like to add 25 milliseconds of audio delay almost to at least every single um, production that I've ever had. I, there's all, audio always comes in a little teeny bit faster than video. So anywhere between 25 and 75 millise milliseconds generally will make your production look a little bit more in sync. My advice to most of our customers is to start at 25 milliseconds, go to 50, 
and continue to go up until you find out that you know you've gone too far then step back a little because you don't want your audio coming in before the video of course now with all this being said we've created a tool that is helpful for this type of situation and what this is and you can download this for free it comes with the unofficial guide to ND, uh, to OBS and the uh, super user guide for OBS the super OBS super user guidebook both of those PDFs are down, available for download for free. So take a look at the links below. This video tool, I'm going to show you how to use it, comes with those books for free during the downloads. Um, so all you got to do is download the book. It'll give you this file. What is this file? So what this file allows us to do is to take a camera. So for example, I'm going to take this camera right here and I'm going to zoom it in to the screen that is playing this file. Okay. You also want to have a microphone listening because every single time this video file hits uh, the bottom, it makes a click. And so it goes click, click, click every single time it comes down. And what you can do is you can record the video and the audio. All right. And then you can slow this down and get an exact number of how far your audio and video needs to be changed to sync. So if you get a number of, okay, my audio is 200 milliseconds before my video, that means you can use the, or let's say it's 200 milliseconds, uh, let's say over here before the video, we would add a delay to bring that audio back to zero, right? Which is ideally somewhere in this range. Doesn't have to be perfect to be honest, but somewhere around this range. So when you download this file, you're also going to get a PDF that explains how to do all of this. Um, I'm not going to go into it all because I want to keep this short and snappy for everybody, but this tool can really help. If you're really trying to fine tune it perfectly, check out this tool, use a video editor, right? Slow the video down, determine where the audio clicks are and look at the video uh, information and then you can synchronize everything even better. But in general, again, first step is making sure all of your video sources, like for example, this is a, uh, if we look at this in full screen, I do want to show this quickly. Uh, this is our OBS controller here. So uh, it, this is also something that, that a lot of our customers like. This is a controller for PTZ Optics cameras in OBS. So uh, we have videos on how that works. Essentially, you just type in the IP address of your camera and you can have, I have one controller here for one camera, another control for the other and you can control the camera. So you just want to zoom it in to wherever it is that you're playing that video. And that you, you, know, you just record that video with the microphone and cameras you're trying to test. And that is how you can really synchronize your audio and video. But uh, I've had a lot of customers saying that their NDI videos uh, you know, basically coming in at a different speed as other cameras and that will be fixed by synchronizing all of those settings in OBS and the cameras. I hope that was helpful. Comment below if you have any questions. Our support team is certainly happy to help you. They're available Monday through Friday helping customers with OBS every day. So don't, don't you know, hesitate to call. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great video tutorials. Let us know what videos you want to see in the future. Hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video.